right away. Um, and uh, normally it's preparing the live stream, but then it goes live. <laughs> so I'm normally like, I start smiling. <laughs> because it's we not got a change, you know, the, uh, there you go, we're live <laughs> on Facebook already. Hello, hello, everybody. Jamie Reyes here with Mompreneur Changing Life interview. We have today Angela Brooks. And while I'm um, saying hi to everybody, I'm going to be, um, I'm going to do the timeline so everybody can see it. So hi, Angela. Thank you so much for being here. And Hello, you guys, you're welcome. If you're dialing, let me know where you're dialing from and drop below the, the city or the um Whatever you are in right now, we are here in California. Angela, where are you in right now? I'm in Kentucky. Oh, nice. <laughs> Central time. I was like, oh, I, she's in Central now. We had a crazy itinerary. Like, we didn't know what time. I was, like, <laughs> lost with the timing. So that's why we are late or early for some people. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so I want to share this in my timeline. I'm going to post um, your name so you can have it in your timeline too. Awesome. And but then I'm we're going to get started. Technology is fun. <laughs> How's the weather over there in Kentucky? Um, it's hot. It's, it's already up to 80. But I, So I got my yard mode early this morning before it got too hot. Oh, that's not bad. 80 yeah. degrees. No, but are you, are you getting like cold? It's very cold over there. Are we getting what? It's, the, it's very cold over there in Kentucky. Yeah, oh, it will. In the wintertime it does. But our humidity is just, it, it'll just cut your breath. It gets so hot. It, the temperature may not be so hot, but the humidity is what gets you. So. Got it. Got it. I love here in California. It's dry and we don't have that humidity. I remember when I was in Puerto Rico, yes, I needed to get a shower like four or five times a day. Yes. Still, it was like super hot. Miserable. <laughs> all right, all right. So I don't want to get a lot of your time because I know Angela is very busy. Um, she is very good in organization. I, I, she has to teach me some of that things that she knows. <laughs> but I want to start with my first questions and it's about um, how do you get started in online marketing? Because I know you were doing a full-time job and you were working and, and you built a six-figure company while you were in your launch break. That's how you, you know, you brand yourself around. And, you know, I want to know your journey. Well, when I worked, um, first of all, thank you for having me today. I appreciate that very much. Um, when I started this online venture, I was working 40 hours a week, just like everybody else. I also had two boys that were very active in sports and I would go to work from, well, at the time when I started, it was six at night till seven in the morning. So they still had baseball practice and they had school functions and things they had to do. So by the time we got through running, it was like, when do you have time to run a business? So with smartphones and with iPads and the ability to connect, thank goodness, um, I used those tools while I was sitting on my lunch break, while I had 15 minute breaks, you would see me over in a corner or sitting outside on a picnic table talking to people or following up on social media because I didn't have two to four hours every day to work a business. I had to be very strategic. Um, I didn't waste, you know, a lot of times people was going to lunch with their friends and hanging out with the girls at, at work. And I didn't, I was that antisocial person that was sitting in the corner with my phone running my business because I, Retirement was coming up and I wanted to make sure that getting out at my retirement date was not an option, that it was something going to happen. So I started building and um, it, it was just one day at a time. It was not fast. It was not the fastest road, but it's what would work for me at the time. And, you know, everybody thinks they get in this and they're going to be the top of the charts in a year. Well, I'm sorry. It doesn't happen that way for the average person. You know, so that's where I started. <laughs> wow, wow, yes, definitely. So I don't know you have two boys and yep. how is that routine, you know, with your boys and the work and working online as well? How do you get that balance? Because like I said, I know you are pretty organized and I, I wanna know more about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had a forty five minute drive to work and back. 
So I would plug in my earphones or I, at the time I'd plug it into the audio in my car and I had a mobile university. So that's where I listened to my training calls. That's where I listened to any kind of audio books that I could just indulge in. And you have to, I mean, I was in business mode constantly anywhere that I could learn then I took that time to, I was reading books. I was listening to audios. I was reading blogs of where I wanted to go. And it, sitting at the ball field, I was that mother sitting over on the other side of the dugout in a chair by herself following up. And that might not have been the most friendly thing that I could have done, but I had a mission statement that I was going after. And, you know, those con I conversated with the other moms, don't get me wrong. But most of the time, I was sitting on the other side of the dugout to where I could write blogs literally on my phone and I would email them to myself so that I can finish them when I got home. So everything that I did, if I had a moment to sit still, that's what I was doing. Wow. Everybody was like, she's not very friendly. I'm like, whatever. You were friendly online, probably. You were pretty connected, right? <laughs> I was very connected. And I always shared most with social media. That's where you get to share your lifestyle. That's where you share your uh, your ups and downs in your business because it's, it's not a straight path. So, you know, I showed people that I was at the ball field. I showed people that I was driving down the road or that I was on my lunch break. They knew that's what I was doing because I was snapping pictures and that's what I was showing. Yeah, definitely show people your lifestyle. Yep. That's what I said to people, be real, be real, you know, be the person that people want to look at because maybe they want your lifestyle too. Yep. You know, she was working full time, working and hustling and grinding and taking care of two kids. And I know there's a lot of mom out there that doing the same, you know, probably have a full time and they, have that, they don't have time, but they don't want to have that lifestyle because probably you didn't want to work those 40 hours, right? You want right. to do something different. You probably want more freedom. And for you to have that, you need to grind and hustle in your free time and build that business. Mm -hmm. So definitely, you know, don't put in your head, you cannot do this. I think it's always, um, there's always a space that we can use and utilize for build a business. Mm -hmm. So I really, really like that, that you did that. That's amazing. I applaud you for that. Thank you. So my next question will be, what's your number, number one tip for success? Don't quit. Be consistent. Um, I, a lot of people, I had this conversation actually this week, is um, I followed up with a lady uh, I think it was like Monday and she said, Oh, I'm sorry. I hadn't gotten back with you because I've, I take the summer off. And I'm like, what do you mean you take your summer off? It's, I don't get that. You know, it's like, it's kind of like Walmart closing down this week because they want to, they're open 24 seven, except on certain holidays. You know, if you went to your favorite store and they weren't open. Christmas. Yeah. It very, very short period of time. But if you went to your favorite store and it was not open, when you went to shop, how often are you going to go there? You, you know, you're going to find somewhere that you can depend on. Same thing with blogging, same thing with social media. If you don't show up every day, people forget you really, really fast. Really fast. Because our worlds are so busy and, uh, you know, people, they got things to do. So if you don't show up, they're going next. <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> Yeah, I like that that you say that because when I disappear <laughs> for a few hours and I'm not checking my phone, I have like 200 notifications. Yeah. That fast it goes. It's like yeah. I cannot leave my phone without and then you have to check it out because always Facebook goes so fast because we have mm -hmm. so many people using it. So you have to be following up. I don't say you have to be 24 seven on your phone. You have to have a schedule because if not, you will not have a life. <laughs> right? Yes, I, I run I run around my house with the kids and they have tiny kids. So I know what it's about to be, you know, having the time for them, just for them and yeah. having the time for my business. You have to yeah. separate those because, yeah, sometimes I'm with both, but sometimes I need to separate it. Yeah. Right? Yes. <laughs> but and, I love that know, but a lot of people, a lot of people think that there is um, that you turn it on and off like it's a, a time machine and it's like, no, you can't. You know, even the people that are what they call the gurus that are at the top of the charts, even they don't turn it completely off. Um, you just can't. 
businesses have got to be open. <laughs> yes, yes, definitely. So if you will have to go again to this journey, you will change, will you change something or you will do, do something different and in your process, will you, would you do something different? I would have got a coach sooner. I would have got a business coach sooner. And the thing that I hear the most is people say, I can't afford it. And I get that because, you know, there's all levels of coaches. There's ones that you can afford that can get you to a certain level. As you grow, you're going to get you another coach. Every time I increase, you know, my coaches increase. But I immediately started growing when I had a business coach that was leading me and guiding me around the obstacles that I thought was obstacles. And they're like, no, they're really not. That's just, you know, different signs of where you don't need to be. So the first thing I would have done is I would have got a business coach sooner. Um, Cause I, I understand when people are looking at their, they look at their checking account and that is what they rule their lifestyle by. Uh, mm -hmm. They don't have enough faith in their consistency or their, ability to grow a business. So they're going, whoops, I don't have a hundred dollars to give to you to teach me how to make a thousand dollars. And yes. they don't see the big picture. So yes. the coach is what I would have done sooner. Totally agree. Like I was 14 years going around to the block and doing nothing. <laughs> and when I came to the space online and say, oh there's yeah. coach. What? <laughs> yep. Wait a minute. I really I, I saw the big picture right away. And that's why I got faster results that other people that probably beginners will like, oh, I'm lost. And then they still will be lost for one, two, three years till they get a coach. Because yes. a coach help you really understand where they're already been there, right? They've been there already. They're going to show yep. you the way. So you, you do it in a short period of time. Yes. And obviously, the results going to come with your action. Yes. <laughs> don't, don't think that a coach will... Uh, sell for you. You have to do the work. Uh, um, my business, my business coach right now is Ray Higdon, and mm -hmm. you know I absolutely love his approach. I mean, he'll get in your face and show you, you know, why are you thinking this way, or you know, stop thinking about disappointment or overwhelm or whatever. Think about how you can solve the problem. He's not going to do the work for me. If I have a question, he's going to lead me and guide me to where I need to be. But he's not going to do the work. And nope. I have a lot of people, I've had people who's coached with me who thought that they hired me and magic was going to happen. It's like, no, I'm giving you the roadmap. You still have to put it in place because I can't do your work. It won't come out the same. So, yeah. um, yeah. I'm in every, every worried um, program and I a GoPro and they say the same thing. Yes. I, I need to call the coaches. The coaches cannot call me. Right. I have 24 seven of it. Like, open phone so I can do it. But if I don't call them, I will not have any coaching like a moment. I need to call my coaches. I need to be there. I need to take action. I need to implement what they tell me. It's yeah. not like a magic one that you're going to really get the result because you have a coach or because you have every word or Ray Hitton that is amazing, right? Or Tony Robbins. You need to take action. Definitely. So you thank you for that. Definitely. Um, my last question would be, um, Number one tip for a mom to start an online business, because that's why we, I do Mompreneurship You Love interviews, because I want to really inspire a mom there so in their house, maybe just with the kids, mm -hmm. looking for an opportunity to start an online business, but they don't know how. Do you have a, a tip for that? My, my first thing I would tell them to do is to start a blog. Because if you're, if you're money crunched right now, you can start getting your message and your content out to the world because there's no way I would have reached the people in the UK and Australia and Aruba had it not been for my blog. And I started there um, and I built straight blogging for the first probably two years before I realized how to um, use the blog as a page builder into uh, funnels and things. But that's where you can start getting your message. And most moms who are staying at home think, I don't, I don't have any skills. You're raising two human beings, which takes a lot of talent. And it's as a skill to raise another human. You can blog about your day. You can blog about the stories that, that your kids are teaching you. Um, 
we've all got skills that we don't give ourselves credit for because we're too close to them. So start looking to see what people are asking you about daily, what um, you are teaching other people. Cause you know, I was just as guilty and I'm like, I don't have anything other than nursing that I can teach somebody and I can't teach somebody how to be a nurse. But what they were asking me was health questions. They were asking me um, mental health questions because I was a mental health nurse. And so that's what I started blogging about. Of course, that has since, you know, the circle has shifted. <laughs> yeah, it has changed a lot. Thank goodness. Um, but, you know, you start where you are right now. You know, don't look at where they are because that's not where they started. So start where you are and start working at the cheapest level that you can before you can afford a coach, start following some good audios, follow on with Facebook live and everybody teaching and training on Facebook. You can get some pretty darn good nuggets. Uh, yes. to other people like these interviews right here. This is things that can help other moms. Yeah. I love that. Now oh. that you're giving right now, love yes. the, the blogging <laughs> and, and getting, if you're a mom, you know, you, you can, if you're breastfeeding, that's, I love breastfeeding. I love that. Uh, I can talk about that forever because I've been doing it for a long time with my first one I did two years. This one I did already 14 months and I still going, but like you have expertise, you know how to do it perfectly. You know, you can talk about that. You can educate moms that are beginners. So you can do so much with the, the thing that you're experienced every single day as a mom and definitely the blog is very good for that to, to start. Yes, that is. That's just where I started. Um, blogging's not for everybody, but if you're looking mm -hmm. for a a way to start getting yourself out there, that's a good place to start. Even me got some nuggets from Angela today. Like I start, I have a blog, but I need to start blogging. And you give me the inspiration. I got inspired today. If you got inspired, <laughs> start blogging <laughs> and start going out there. You start using your the tools that the Facebook give you for free. Facebook Live for free, guys. It's just something that yeah. big, uh, bring my, my business to the next level. You can use it for free. There's Google, there's YouTube, Instagram. Yep. There's so many tools out there for free that you can utilize and start your business. And if you don't have a business, there's so much out there that, that you can find that you don't have an idea. But yes, definitely get a coach, definitely get a mentor that teach you how to do it. And I really, really appreciate Angela that you being here. You're amazing. Thank you for bringing your story here in this um, in this interview. <laughs> Thank you very much. Even though we had some technical stuff, we worked it. <laughs> Yes, yes. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Everybody, if you got some nuggets from this, share it with your friends and enjoy this day. And don't forget to, to join Success with Jamie to get more tips. So And follow Angela too because she has some nuggets as well. Take care and have a great day. Thank you.